The Ice Queen has returned. Up Wedding Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Kaguya Wants to Be Confessed to chapter 142 and oh my god, so last chapter we had like this mental court going on with all the different Kaguyas and uh... Ooh, Ice Kaguya wasn't having this shit and uh, she won the battle, or I should say she won the court battle. And uh, she has reemerged, and ooh, she is about to get real. So let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. The Ice Kaguya, who first fell in love with Miyuki Shiragani, is thrust onto the stage. Um, and this chapter is titled Regarding Kaguya Shinomiya Part 4. A new chapter begins. The first kiss never ends arc. Ooh, Akka! Okay, I'm excited. She was in idiot mode until she woke up. This copy is disgusting. Uh, uh, so sorry. Um, its only redeeming quality is that it's taught me just how, uh, delicious our servant's coffee is. It tastes, uh, like boiled sea cucumber. I've act I've never actually made co uh, coffee myself before. I should ask, uh, Secretary Fujiwara to teach me how to make coffee some, um, sometime. Things are sun looking, uh, suddenly looking grim for Fujiwara. Shinomiya's in an awful mood. I wonder if something happened. Plus, she's let her hair down. She seems just like the old Shinomiya. Personas, the outward-facing mass of the self in uh, Zheng's model of the psyche. No matter how, what one's natural inclinations are, a human being's social ability changes greatly depends on, uh, greatly, um, changes, oh my god, warnings. A human being's social ability uh, changes greatly depending on their environment. Uh, one's self changes when in the presence of family, friends, uh, you reek of sweat, and then, um, significant others, um, in, and even on the internet, every person will perform a different role regarding, um, uh, um, oh, oh my god, wordings, oh my god, uh, every person will perform a different role depending on the people they're interacting with. This is especially true for members of the Shinomiya household. The schooling uh, she underwent was exceedingly strict, and as a result, she constructed many resilient personas in order to protect herself in such an environment. While she uh, has not reached the point of developing a uh, disassociative identity disorder, her masks have become so deeply ingrained in her life that she uh, are, that they are occasionally seen as different personalities altogether. Shiragane, or rather president, shall we discuss the elephant in the room? This is it! What do you feel our relationship is? Just calling us fellow student council members seems a bit drab. Friends doesn't sound right either. Oh my god, here it is! Here it is! At this point, aren't we pretty much dating? I guess, ah! or something like that. Oh my God, dating is, dating is going a bit far, isn't it? Is this for real? You think a kiss makes you my boyfriend? Oh my God, coming at you. Ah! To make such an assumption, honestly, what are you, a child? I knew that's what you'd say. Well, I don't blame you for getting ahead of yourself, President. After all, I've known you, uh, you liked me from the very beginning. Well, what about you, Shinomiya? Why did you kiss me? Oh! You kissed me because you liked me, didn't you? Don't get carried away over a kiss or two. You could do that with anyone if, it, if the move were right. Even now, indeed. Why don't we just do it again, here and now? Another kiss. Woo! What kind of man sits around waiting for a kiss with that pathetic expression on his face? Um, how sickening. What? Sorry, I thought... I thought she was going to kiss me again. That kiss was etched deeply into uh, Shiragani's brain. I mean, you have a point, that, but that's no reason to hit me. My apo- Oh my god. Kaguya, you bitch! My apologies. In the Shinomiya house, we beat the indecision out of people. In any event, I would never date such a spineless man. I'm going home. Goodbye. What? Oh dear. I was planning to call for a ride, but it would seem that uh, smartphones have uh, bad battery life. I suppose I have no choice but to walk. Huh? You shouldn't walk home alone at this hour. Well then, what do you suggest I do? What in the world is going on? <laughs> what happened to Shinomiya? I thought things were going pretty well up until yesterday. Now suddenly she's not interested in dating and yet we're walking home together. And then there's her ice cold expression. This is just like the old Shinomiya who uh, put up walls all around her. Something must have happened. Maybe something with her family? Um, I wonder if her, uh, family objected to the study abroad thing, or maybe they were opposed to her being in a relationship. Don't tell me she's got a fiancé! Oh god, Shiragata, you're thinking the worst! Maybe that's why she's saying she can't date all of a sudden. Come on, she must be giving off some kind of signal that I'm not picking up on. Men sure have it nice. No one reprimands you for walking with your, uh, with your hands in your pocket. 
Hi, my fingertips are so cold. Oh! She just wants you to, she wants Shiragani to hold, his, hold her hand. Okay, so she's thinking about male chauvinism and sign. For the Shinomiya family who use people like tools, male chauvinism can only mean one thing. She must have a fiance! Shiragani was absolutely incensed on Kaguya's behalf. An arranged marriage such an outdated practice in this day and age, but I wouldn't put it past the Shinobiya family. God damn, Shinobiya, why are your signals so subtle? I'll never forgive them. I'll put a stop to this no matter what it costs. But what about Shinomiya? Has she come to uh, terms with it? If it's a beneficial arrangement for her, there's no way I could stop it. What do you want me to do? Tell me how you feel. Hey, my hands are really cold. At this rate, my even my heart is going to freeze over. Just as I thought, she's so sad, her heart's about to freeze over. No, she just wants you to hold her hand. Just, Kaguya, just tell Shiragane that you want him to hold your hand. Quit being an idiot. A certain someone's hands seem quite warm, and she wants me to save her with my own hands. Shinomiya is sending me an SOS here. I have to do something, but what? President, you can't even properly escort a single girl. How cute! Ah, oh, so cute! Hm, absolutely spineless. Today's results, Ice Kaguya, uh, Kaguya's loss. Three days until Christmas. She doesn't really want to push him away either. Oh my god, Kaguya! Just be straightforward! Stop playing these games, dumbass! We're back to this! We're right back to playing games! We're right back to playing games! Oh god. Oh god. Anyway. Let me know your thought. Also, Miyuki, you are just goddamn clueless. God. I just want to like smack I want to like smack like shake Miyuki and be like, dude! Just hold her hand, stupid! Like Miyuki's just so fucking clueless! Oh my god! Anyway. This kid's going to Stanford. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys thought of this chapter. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help um, keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Kaguya content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, um, purchase something off my uh, Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network, all that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.